trying to introduce us, but we wasn't trying to hear it, and then, um, cause we thought it was some religious stuff, and then, also, mad black people were just mad against it, too, mm-hmm. just from my experience, like, growing up, um, cause they felt it was, like, trying to substitute Christmas, and they was, like, heavy into Christmas, and they, like, nah, don't bring that, that, that other stuff around me, and all that, um, that's why I remember hearing and all that, so when I went to prison, um, and I think it was the year of 2007, 2008, when we came at a collective, and what they what we had did was something called like contemporary versus mm-hmm. what was the other one? Old school, um, new school. It's old school, new school, but it was like the contemporary. And that's how we used to always do it. We used to get a young person doing a spill, and then it was an older person doing a spill. Like, so, um, do you remember? Um, you remember? Right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, it was like old school, new school. So when I was introduced to Kwanzaa then, and really getting the history of it, and also I was like mad into like black love at this time as well. Um, and just being blood too, you know what I'm saying? Me being able to bring like mad homies to the um to that cipher and everything, and really understood like, wow, this shit is really like the only real holiday that is really like was created for and by a black person. Like there's no other holiday that you could think of that was created by a black, solely black person, you know what I'm saying? So um, Karinga, when he created this, he was just really, really thinking about us. And I felt that was like mad dead to me, so like it was like mad hot fire. So everything I did most of the time is 